How to get Max Gingerbread in Adopt new Christmas update. Gingerbread is the brand new currency that players can go and use to go and purchase every single pet that's available from the event. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can all go and get as much gingerbread as possible for free. Players will get to go and use their gingerbread to go and purchase some of these legendary pets including the Ice Moth Dragon. The Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon does cost Robux, but the good news is that I'm giving one of them away for free. So if you'd like to go and get your hands on a Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon, leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below. I actually already opened this up earlier, but it seems that I can go and claim another one. Now that seems to definitely be a glitch because now it says that I own two gingerbread kitty throw toys. I literally opened this up earlier. How interesting. Step one, to maximize the amount of gingerbread that players are going to be going and getting, I recommend going and joining a public server. And I'll go and explain some of those reasons later in this video. But while we wait for those reasons, we're actually gonna go and do some ice skating. The basic premise behind this game is to go and skate around the map and collect the gingerbread. The more gingerbread you collect, the more gingerbread you collect, basically. If you go and follow the route that I am going and taking right now, then you're going to go and optimize the amount of time and the amount of gingerbread that you are going and collecting, allowing you to literally go and collect one of every single of the gingerbread and go in a full circle track. Once you get the hang of this minigame, it then becomes very easy to allow you to go and collect one of every single of these gingerbreads. And then you need to then go and head back over, and as you can see, I've now just gone and been replenished, which is really handy. But we're just gonna go and backtrack ourselves and go and follow this route. By going and following this exact route, it allows you to go and do a perfect loop. And the idea behind the perfect loop is that once you've gone back to the start, you can then go and begin again and perfectly collect the infinite amount of gingerbread, which is actually really handy and will allow you to go and collect the maximum amount of gingerbread from this minigame. Now, some of you might be questioning, well, why are you not going and claiming the gingerbread once you go and roll over it? Well, you actually need to go and head to a location to go and claim it. So once you've gone and skated across this map, you then want to go and go to the claim location, which I will go and show you in a second. And then we're gonna head on over to the next minigame once we go and get that pop-up notification. So to go and head over to the next minigame, also you want to avoid those penguins at all costs, what you want to go and do is head on over here to go and collect your gingerbread. As you can see, I have 3,024 gingerbread that I just collected from that. That's right. And also I recommend going and speaking to Speedy. It says, hey there, I'm Speedy. I mean Speedy the Penguin. I make race courses and obbies for my friends to play. Do you want to go and race? Of course, I'll take you on the lake. Try it and you get 500 gingerbread when you run it for the first time. So the first time you go and do this, you actually get gingerbread, which is great. So I recommend just going and following the route that it tells you since that is literally the goal of this. Uh, the quicker you do it, the more fun. There's not actually a bonus for going and doing it faster. There is that leaderboard feature where you can go and compete against your friends, which is a nice addition. So if you wanna show off to your friends that you're really fast at this mini game, then I guess you just gotta do a tiny bit of practice. Whoa, that's funny, that person just crashed into me who looks exactly like me. How crazy. All right, we just gotta go this way. You can also jump on these, by the way, in case you think there is a penguin that's gonna go and crash into you. So this was the notification that we were waiting for. The snowball fight is starting soon. Teleport there now. So I definitely recommend going and doing this mini game since this one actually also only works in public servers. I'm so close to the end and we should go and claim it. Now we've gone and completed it. It says you did it, great job. I hope your friends weren't too hard on you. And anyway, here's your reward. Talk to them when you want to do the race course again. Try competing with your friends to see who's the fastest. As you can see, I just got 500 gingerbreads. I was actually so close to being top of that leaderboard. You can actually go and see your personal best score as well in case you want to try and improve. I mean, the faster you are, the more gingerbread you're getting, so I recommend improving. Now let's head on to the next mini game. And for this mini game, you actually need to be in a public server. If you try and do this in a private server, you simply can't go and play the mini game. You will go and get a pop-up notification telling you to go and teleport to the snowball fight. So you want to go and click accept to teleport you there. 
Each player begins with three lives and the idea is to go and scoop up a snowball and then throw it and try and hit someone. Once you lose all three lives, you're out and uh, the idea is to not lose your lives and the person with the most wins uh, survives. So the more hits you get, the more um, points you're actually going to go and get. So I recommend not really like standing still for too long, going and moving and aiming for the people at the back as they typically don't move as often and that uh, relatively easy so yeah if you also aim in a group then that's good try to stay cover and i lost i got hit and i'm gone <laughs> so yeah as you can see um i'm probably a bit more of a target i only got 1000 gingerbread from doing that i might get a bonus it says you will receive more gingerbread once the mini game ends cheer for your team so you actually go and get a bit more afterwards, which is pretty nice that they go and give you more. So we need to wait for that game to go and finish, and then we will go and find out if I was to go and receive some more gingerbread. So the game in progress is about to go and end, and it says I was awarded 1,500, even though that my team lost. So if your team wins, you probably go and get a bonus of like 2,500. I guess it depends how well you do. But even just by participating, you go and get a pretty good amount of gingerbread by going and playing this game. Pads in a Christmas pads in Christmas Christmas Are you guys excited about it? Are you enjoying it? Fly? But it floats. Use vehicles indoors. Alright, I gotta know what that is. Um do did I get there's actually also going to be a brand new game called the Reindeer Race and also the Frost Bridge where players soon are going to be able to go and play them. And uh, you can actually go and see where it's going to be by standing on this mini game lift. So if you go and hop onto the lift, just like so, and then you'll be able to go and stop. As you can see, this right here says coming soon in 13 days there's going to be a brand new mini game where players can go and get more gingerbread. But as for now, I am currently showing you all of the current games. The other mini game is coming out in six days, meaning there is going to be four different games to go and play to go and earn yourself gingerbread, which is great. There's one thing in this update which I absolutely hate, is the fact that they've disabled the feature to say no to trading, which is really bad because I'm trying to film videos and everyone trades me and uh, you can't turn trading off, which is really frustrating. Let me know if you guys have featured any bugs or anything, but you can't go and disable trading at the moment. I'm also going and giving away one of these strawberry shortcake bat dragons to someone who follows me on Instagram at MattyAJP. Go and follow me on there and check out some of my posts. Click this video here to see the Roblox hacker who had 200,000 Roblox players accounts with one click.